Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be testing out a ton of new makeup. All the makeup that was in my Sephora haul and then some, some other products that are new that I have never tried before. But before I do that, I do want to go ahead and pick the winners of giveaway number four from March. I have finally just sat down and I'm now I'm able to pick those winners. I just hit 3k so you already know another giveaway is coming very soon so I'm really excited for that so definitely stay tuned but let's go ahead and pick the winners of giveaway number three. Let me screen record because I'm going to forget if I don't do it. So the first winner of giveaway number four, I said number three, but giveaway number four is, I'm sorry if I say your name incorrectly, I'm going to try, Faiza Rady, I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name correctly, but you are the first winner of giveaway number four, so now let's randomize another winner. Alright, so Asia Moore is the second winner of giveaway number four, congrats. And then we have one more. So the next person is Allison Ayo. You are the third winner of giveaway number four. Congrats. So I have all three of the prizes right here. If you guys do not remember what that was, because it's been a little minute, it was like the different sets. So it was like the, the pink set, the nude set, and like the fiery red set. And it's like the Hank and Henry palette, the Kylie lips, all that good stuff is in this giveaway. So congrats. I will definitely contact all of you guys and get these shipped to you guys ASAP. Let's go ahead and dive into these new products and I'm so excited. You guys, I got the new Morphe 35D Desert Bouquet Eyeshadow Palette right here. We have some Tower 28. We have the new, like, well, it's not new, but it's new to me. The Juno & Co. Setting Powder, which I've heard so much about. I got the new Patrick Ta, like, bronzer and cream contour. I have the new Kosas powders, which I've honestly been using a lot off camera. The new Huda palette, which I don't know if I'll use this today. I'm going to try because I have the new Morphe palette. So we'll see which one we can work with. The Danessa Myricks highlighter palette. Oops, the Danessa Myricks highlighter palette right here. We have more stuff too. So we have a lot of goodies. I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and just dive in. In. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on my Instagram at Tatiana.Anisa and all my other socials will be down below so definitely check them out if you want to follow me on all my other socials. Because it's been a while, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. It's been a minute since I used this y'all, like really, I honestly forgot that I had it but... It's really good. If you guys hear that, that's Callie playing with Callie. What you playing with, girl? Her mat. Her welcome mat into her, like, dog pen. I love this because it is a, like, skincare and a primer in one. Y'all know I love skincare in my makeup because it's, like, I'm, it's doing double the work for me. So, I cannot complain about that it leaves your face kind of tacky so it works really really well for like gripping your makeup guys okay so for foundation i just got the becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation it's my first time ever using it i used it once and i love it like i truly truly love it i'm gonna use it today on the morphe brush just because i did not wet a sponge and i don't feel like wetting a sponge mirror is so dirty i need to clean it but you guys see this foundation is so full coverage oh my gosh like i just did one side of my face and it's so good and it's 50 percent off at ulta so if you're interested in trying this the foundation the concealer and like some lip liners and lipsticks are on sale for 50 percent off at ulta right now Hopefully they put other stuff on sale because I've just been like waiting to try other products from Becca because I've never tried Becca before and this is my first time ever trying something from Becca and I actually really really love it y'all. So I just like turned up my ring light a little bit so you guys could see my face better but that foundation is so full coverage I'm like truly truly impressed almost forgot that i had this new concealer well yeah it is pretty new so this is the new morphe 2 concealer this is the hide and peak concealer i picked up the shade peak of sienna it's tan with neutral undertones i like to go more neutral i'm really excited to try this i hope this doesn't crease that's like my biggest concern is like this concealer creasing on me but i'm hoping it doesn't we're gonna do that little tiktok concealer trend this little tiktok uh concealer trend is still growing on me 
but so far this spreads out really really nicely it's not too thin and it's also not too thick it seems like it's like the perfect consistency and I'm not mad at it at all it blends out nicely the coverage it's not completely full coverage but it definitely does feel very very lightweight so this is a really great everyday concealer the morphe 2 line is more for like that lighter coverage makeup but it definitely is very very lightweight i do want to like build it up just a little bit under the eyes just a little bit just to see if we can like build up this coverage I need like an everyday lightweight concealer like this. I just really hope it doesn't crease on me. Oh, we have the cream contour from Patrick Ta to test out today. So I picked up the shade She's Chiseled. I'm really, really excited about this. So in this, you have like the cream contour right here and then you have the bronzer. I'm gonna take it on my JH08 brush. It's the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe collab brush. So I'm gonna go into that cream contour. Okay, very creamy so let's see if this works for me because like i feel like like it's not that deep that i like to go for cream contour like i'm not really seeing the shade that much like i see it but it's not like really really deep enough to like contour like i like so maybe if you could build it up maybe Okay, I can build it up, but it's like really subtle. It's not like as deep as I would like. Put some up here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm looking at it in the camera view, like with the monitor, and it's not as like deep as I would like. You know, I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a deeper contour. Like looking at it, it's like it doesn't look as deep like once you break that barrier. Okay, but before we go into the bronzer and everything in the powder, I do want to go into the blush from Patrick Ta. This is in the shade Oh She's Different. And this one is like that berry kind of blush. I do want to use this. I'm going to take it on my Damp Beauty sponge because that's how I like to apply my cream blushes. We're just going to stamp that here. I'm not really picking it up. Let's go in with my Fenty 125 brush because I like this better for cream. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. I like that. I like the cream blush from Patrick Ta. It's very, very pretty. Gives you a nice wash of color. That contour, I'm not really feeling, to be honest. I don't don't really know about the contour honestly but this blush i like it it's really pretty I do have two cream blushes from tower 28 i've never tried tower 28 before and i'm really really excited about these i feel like i don't know i picked up the shades after hours and power hour i want to go in with power hour first it's a little bit deeper than power hour i'm gonna go in with my real techniques brush this is the 028 brush and go into the tower 28 blush and just oh oh my god that's pretty oh whoa that's so pigmented i was not expecting that much pigment wow do y'all see that that's really really pretty i'm i didn't even i didn't even do that much like i literally just went toot toot and then here and like it's so pretty it's so dewy though like really really dewy wow i like this okay i see the hype of tower 28 you guys saw like i literally did not do that much and i have so much pigment it's really really dewy which is fine i actually like the tower 28 blush a lot more than the patrick ta but i'm just gonna take some of that tower 28 to like kind of make it even on both sides so setting powder because i'm really really excited about this this is from juno and co this is the blur makeup setting powder i picked up the shade brighten there's only two shades there's translucent and then there's brighten and then brighten was kind of out of stock for the longest time and we're just gonna 
first off, make sure this is not creasing, which is really not creasing that much. Like it's like, you know, not extreme because I didn't set it. We're gonna go in with this powder. It says you can bake with this, but I'm not much of a baker, honestly. I mean, I bake in the kitchen, but I'm not a baker under the eyes. So this is such a soft powder. You guys see the difference? That makes me look like a baby under the eyes. Like, this is so good. Oh my gosh, it's so fine. And it looks good. And with that Morphe concealer, it looks really, really good. I'm really impressed. Wait, that looks so good. It looks really good. I'm actually really happy about that. So on the other side, I'm going to go in with the Kosas Pillowy Cloud Set Powder. I have been using this every single day to set my under eyes, but I just wanted to use it on camera for y'all because I love this. This is so good. Like, if you have not tried this powder from Kosas, you are missing out. It just leaves you so, like, airbrushed. And honestly, like, it looks so good. I'm, like, really impressed. I do wish that there was just a little bit more coverage with that concealer. I'm not mad at it, but it is an everyday concealer, which is really, really nice. But I do wish there was just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit more coverage. But y'all, my base is looking like a freaking baby doll. It's looking really seamless. I do need to set my face because the Becca foundation kind of made it feel kind of like sticky a little bit. So with the Tower 28 blush, it came in this little set. And it came with like the lip product, which I lost, I feel like. I feel like I lost it. Here it is. I literally overlooked it. So this is the shade Cashew. I was really intrigued to try this product from Tower 28. Why did I think? It's a gloss? I really thought it was going to be a lip balm. Like, I really thought this was going to be a lip balm. Wait. Okay, this feels really good on the lips. And these are really inexpensive. I think they're like $14. And the packaging is really, really cute on this product. I like the shade. Like, it looks really pretty. I would put a lip liner on with this, though. It's very, very comfortable. So that's something I really do love. It doesn't have a taste or anything like that or a scent. It's just there it feels really moisturizing it kind of feels like a hybrid between like a gloss and a lip balm we need to set this this blush i'm gonna go in the powder blush from patrick ta we're gonna set that and just go over this i know some people wonder like why do people set their cream blushes but me personally i like to set it because I feel like it lasts longer. Like cream blushes under powder tend to last a lot longer. Wow, I love this. Oh my God, I forgot that I had this. Wow, I told you guys, I was gonna forget that I had this palette and I'm just like, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Oh, you know what? Let's contour with this shade right here. This is the shade Epic. I feel like my cheekbones are not snatched right now. But, oh, I look, oh. See, this is what I thought that that Patrick Ta contour... Oh my god, that's too much. Oh, that's too much. Okay, but that's what I thought it was going to be. Like, look at that. Wow, that's pigmented and way too much, girl. Girl. I really thought it was going to be like that. But this is what I want, though. This is what I wanted that to be. Okay, a little bit of this goes a long way. I want to bronze a little bit with this shade right here, Premier. Okay, that's really red on camera. No, we're not going to use that. Okay. Let's go in that Patrick Ta bronzer, the powder one, and let's see how the bronzer looks in this. And let's just see. Let's see what it's given me because I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this shade. Honestly, I don't even really see it doing much for me. It. Let me swatch it. Yeah, like even if I swatch this... It, like, doesn't really show up on my skin tone. So, <sighs> I don't know about this. So, let's go in with a little bit of the shade Premier. It's, like, red. And I'm going to go and mix in a little bit of Jet Setter. Just to get, like, my perfect bronze shade. Because I like a little bit of red in my bronzer. This is so pigmented. I definitely like 
this little concoction that I just did. Lastly, for the face, well, we have two more products. I do want to go into the Kosas powder. This one is the deepest one that I got to like set all over my face. It's the shade Silky. So I'm just going to take some of this on a really big powder brush and just go over my whole face just to set it. We're going to go in with the Danessa Myricks Highlighter Palette. Look at how pretty this is. I'm so excited. I want to take the shade Cappuccino, which is this one right here. We're gonna, just going to put some on the nose. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh my god, do y'all see my nose? Oh my gosh, that's pretty. It's so finely milled too. Wow. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh my god, that's stunning. Wait, I think I just found my new favorite highlighter. This is the Lightwork 2 palette, by the way. I like a highlighter that is just so finely milled. Like, you only see it when you turn the side, and it just looks so good. It doesn't look streaky. It doesn't leave that white line on your face. That's what I love in a really, really good highlighter, and this is coming in clutch. So we have one more product, I think. I think one more product. And that's this. But this is the new Morphe palette. I really want to play with this. This is the 35D Desert Bouquet palette. I did do a look with this yesterday, so I did use it yesterday. And I ended up using the pinks, but I also think today I'm going to use the pinks because I'm going to do it on camera for y'all. I'm going to prime my lids with the Alamar Cosmetics Eye Primer. We're going to go in with this shade right here called Rich Clay. That's so pretty. It's such a pretty shade. It's really, really deep. I just love how this blends out. I just really like the whole vibe of this entire palette. I think it's really, really pretty and very surprising. Like, Morphe did not even announce this. And it was at Ulta. Like, before Morphe even announced it, which is crazy. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Cactus Fruit. It's very pretty fuchsia pink. And I'm just going to focus this mainly in the inner part of my eye just to kind of brighten up the inner portion of the eye so my camera just died on me it's telling me that i'm filming for too long but all i did was i went ahead and cut my crease with the p louise base acid rain in the shade blank canvas now we're going to go ahead and finish up the eye look and then i'm going to share my thoughts on all the products we used today so we're going to take the shade phoenix flora which is this beautiful beautiful bright pink shade very very pretty I'm just gonna put this all on the lid to kind of like set that p louise base wait i'm gonna take a brush i am gonna take my ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade amnius hour and i'm gonna put this on my waterline to kind of like bring out that pink so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of this shade right here called Mojave Heat, I think. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But I'm going to take some of that and put that in the outer corner and just blend it inwards to kind of like diffuse it into that pink that we put on the lid just for like a little bit of an ombre effect. Midnight Bloom, we're just going to take a dab and just see what this shade is working with. Hopefully it's a pigmented shade but not too pigmented where we can build it up ourselves but i'm just gonna keep this strictly in the outer corner i haven't done a cut crease in a minute so cactus fruit we're gonna go back into that we're also gonna just mix it in with rich clay the first shade we went in with because we're gonna put this on the lower lash line now i just need some bottom mascara i'm just gonna take my morphe mascara because i love it and I'm obsessed with it and it's like literally out. To finish off this look, I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I have been really obsessed with this setting spray lately, so we're just gonna... Oh, I love how this look looks. I do like that product from Tower 28 as like a lip, like a everyday kind of lip thing, but for this look, I feel like I need a little bit more. Oh, I think I'm just gonna go in with my ColourPop Just a Tint in the shade Treasure Island. I'm gonna see what this does for me. I just need a little bit of color. Nothing too bold, but just like, give me some color and this is just what I need. Mmm, smells good, smells like fruit. All right, so let's recap all the products we tried in today's video. So first off, let's just start off with the Morphe eyeshadow palette. You guys, 
I'm gonna just be real with y'all. I do not buy Morphe palettes unless they're in the cardboard packaging. I just cannot buy the palettes in the plastic packaging. It just this just seems more like custom to me and I love that but this color story is really really pretty I love succulents succulents are literally my favorite plant but I love the fact that they took a different take with this palette it's more like succulents meets like dark vampy colors and I love that in this palette so I definitely would pick this up at Ulta you know I think it's really really pretty definitely my favorite packaging that I think Morphe has done thus far and it's so pretty on camera I love it and I love the look that I created so I'm very happy with that by the way I'm going out of order <laughs> with all of this stuff so the next thing is the Danessa Myricks highlighter palette I love this palette it's really really pretty and I think I found my like favorite everyday highlighter palette my favorite my, just my favorite highlighter palette in general it's really pricey but I think it's a really really great highlighter palette it's definitely really blinding and seamless and the Sephora Pro palette you guys tread lightly because it is so pigmented you guys saw when I put that contour shade on oh my god it was just a lot it was a lot really pigmented which is a good thing because that means you're not going to run out of this really quickly you have a lot of product and it's going to last you a good bit of time i can't wait to like really dive into this by itself because i had a lot of blush today and highlighter in today's video so i couldn't really use as much but i really do think i'm going to love this sephora pro palette and then the Tower 28 blushes i definitely think these are worth the hype they're so good you guys saw like w literally it effortless I took a da two dabs and then I put it on my face and it was just so pigmented I don't even think I needed two dabs but I did two dabs and I really like these I am eyeing another shade that's more orangey and I really want to pick those up but I'm happy I got these and then this I also really love for like every day not really like I don't know there's other shades so I would pick out I want to try out other shades these are so inexpensive I think these are like $14 at Sephora which is really really nice so I do like this formula a lot I do wish it had like a scent or like a taste or a smell I don't know I just I like smell in my lip products for some reason I know it can be overpowering for other people but for me I just like to smell like cupcake that cupcakey lip smell I don't know it's weird okay the Juno & Co powder is so good I got the brightening one like I said there's translucent and brightening and then this is the brightening one it's really really good my under eyes look really airbrush flawless like I'm obsessed and I think I'm gonna really pull from this a lot the Jaclyn cosmetic powders low-key look like resemble these but this one's a lot more smaller but no it's the same size Wow but you get more product in this obviously but I just thought I'd mention that because it just reminded me of the Jaclyn Cosmetic one then the Becca foundation I really like this while it's 50% off I think I'm gonna get another one because I have like the perfect shade in this I am in the shade mocha 5 in 2 so really really like this a lot the Kosas powders I love these definitely gonna see these in my favorites video I'm just telling y'all now it's definitely gonna be there they're really good so worth the money um, I would definitely pick these up because these have easily become like holy grails and I'm obsessed I have two we have the Patrick Ta blush duo I do like this it's not my favorite I've tried I know a lot of people love this um, I feel like I probably just have to play with this a little more to really get a feel how I feel about this. But I do know how I feel about the about the bronzer and the contour. I'm not a fan of it. The shade just doesn't go deep enough for me. And I don't think I'm going to use this again. The Morphe 2 concealer. I think it's a great concealer for like everyday makeup application. If you are that kind of person that loves more lightweight concealers and things like that. This is probably your best bet. I really was intrigued to try it. Ulta has it now. This is the only product I didn't use in today's video. This is the Huda Toffee palette. I really, really like this palette. Um, I've swatched it. I haven't used it yet, but I definitely will use this and let you guys know in a like upcoming product roundup video how I like that product or not. But I think that was all the products. Yes, I think that was all the products. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the fam. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.